Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. Now we have come to the last part of introduction to organic chemistry. 1.6 1 1.6 is basic reaction in organic compound. In this subtopic, you will learn to describe and differentiate between covalent bond cleavage, homolytic and heterolytic. Define and state stability of free radicals and carbocation. And state the type of organic reaction. There are two types of bond cleavage. As all chemical reactions involve bond breaking and bond making. And the two types are homolytic cleavage and heterolytic Homolytic cleavage occurs in a nonpolar bond involving two atoms of similar electronegativity. It requires large amount of energy and the single bond breaks symmetrically into two equal parts, leaving each atom with one unpaired electron. Free radicals are formed in homolytic cleavage. The distribution of bonding electron is shown by the half-headed arrow and the radicals are the species with one unpaired electron. Take note that the half-head arrow means the electron is transferred with only one electron and the full-head arrow means that the transfer of two electron or a pair of electrons. For heterolytic cleavage, it occurs in a polar bond involving unequal sharing of electron pair between two atoms of different electronegativities. A single, a single bond breaks asymmetrically and both the bonding electrons are transferred to the more electronegative atoms Cation and anion. Cation and anion are formed in hydrolytic cleavage. In the example given, both bonding electrons are given to B as B is more electronegative than A, forming A plus cation and B minus anion. Here is the differences between homolytic and heterolytic cleavage. For homolytic, okay, in polar non-polar covalent bond, the single bond breaks symmetrically. Bonding electrons are transferred to both atoms equal, equally from free radicals. And for heterolytic cleavage, it occurs in non-polar covalent bond where the single bond breaks asymmetrically and the bonding electrons are transferred to the more electronegative atom that will result in the formation of cation. Two species that take part in reaction intermediates are free radicals and carbocation. Free radicals is a reactive intermediate with a single unpaired electron, as you can see as a dot. Free radicals are electron deficient species, means it has a lack of electron. Having very short lifetime, free radicals generated by homolysis of a covalent bond, free radicals represented by atom with one dot, and electronic movements involving radicals are represented using half-headed fish hook arrows. Meanwhile, for carbocation, it is a chemical species in which a carbon atom has a positive charge and three bonds. Carbocation is also an electron deficient species. So generally, it is unstable because they do not have 8 electrons to satisfy the octet rule. So carbocation generate through 
electrolytic fusion and carbocate ion is also called as carbonium ion. The factor that stabilizes the free radical and carbocate ion. The carbocate ion and radical stability depends on the number of carbon groups attached to the carbon. Alkyne substituents are electron donors group. So as a result, they are good for electron deficient cation and radicals. So the presence of substituent alkyl groups in the compounds will help to stabilize the unstable carbocate ion and free radicals. So this process is called the inductive effect. Now let's look for the classification of free radical and carbocate ion. Both free radical and carbocate ion are classified on the basis of the number of carbon groups bonded to the carbon. The carbocate ion can be termed as metal, primary, secondary or tertiary on the basis of how many carbon atoms are attached to it. So for metal carbocate ion, if only there is no carbon is attached to the carbon with the positive charge. So it is simply called as methyl carbocate ion. If two, if one, two or three carbon is attached to the carbon with the positive charge, so it is called as primary, secondary or tertiary carbocate ion respectively. The stability of free radicals. Free radical can be stabilized through donation of electron density by neighbors. So radical stability increase in the order as follows. Metai has lower stability than primary, primary lower than secondary, and the highest stability is the tertiary free radical. For the stability of carbocate ion, it can also be stabilized through donation of electron density by neighbors similar to the one with free radicals earlier. And the carbocation stability increase in order of methyl, primary, secondary, and tertiary is the most stable carbocate ion. Notes here that Carbocate ion and radicals have the same pattern, so you don't have to memorize them twice. Now, let's look at the species involved in organic reaction. The first one is electrophile. Electrophile is an electron deficient species, means it lacks of electron. Electrophile is an electron pair acceptor and it can be either neutral or positively charged species. In the Greek words, electrophile means electron loving. So example of electrophile is hydrogen ion, hydronium ion, NO2 plus ion, and Pr plus ion. Any species with the positively charged is electrophile. The second species is nucleophile. Nucleophile is electron-rich species, also known as electron pair donor. Electron pair donor attacks a part of a molecule where the electron density is low. Nucleophile can either, can either be neutral or negatively charged species. In Greek words, it means nucleus loving. So the example of nucleophiles are hydroxide ion, alkoxide ion, chloride ion, cyanide ion, and etc. As long as the species have negatively charged, so the species is considered as nucleophile. Now let's look for the types of organic reactions. There are three main types of organic reaction, addition, elimination, and substitution. For addition reaction, we can Divide it into electrophilic and nucleophilic. 
And for substitution reaction, we can divide it into free radical substitution, electrophilic substitution, or nucleophilic substitution. Depends on how or depends on what is the species involved in the intermediate. For addition reaction, in addition reaction, Atoms or group of atoms are added to adjacent atom of a multiple bond. The new bond made to the carbon atoms involved in the double or triple bond. So the two types of addition reaction, electrophilic and nucleophilic addition. For electrophilic addition, it occurs when electrophile is added to unsaturated carbon compound to form saturated. So the basic concept of electrophilic addition is from saturated become be, from unsaturated have become saturated so electrophilic addition is the typical reaction of alkene and alkynes for nucleophilic addition the addition reaction is initiated by a nucleophile which attack an electrophilic site of the organic molecule. So this is the typical reaction for carbonyl compounds. So in this reaction, we have HCN as the reagent and CN- minus will act as the nucleophile that attack the carbon double bond O of carbonyl compound. Substitution reaction. In substitution reaction, atoms or group of atoms in a molecule is replaced by another atom or group. For substitution reaction, there are three types free radical, electrophilic, and nucleophilic substitution. For free radical substitution, involve intermediate species of free radicals. And it only happens with alkenes with single bonds. A special characteristic for you to identify the free radical substitution is the presence of UV light in the chemical equation. Because for free radical substitution reaction, it requires a high energy or heat in order for to occur. For electrophilic substitution, this is the typical reaction of aromatic compound. The aromatic nucleus has high electron density, thus its nucleophilic is prone to undergo electrophilic substitution. So as you can see, in the bromination of benzene ring, the bromine water is act as the electrophile. And it substitutes one of the hydrogen atom of the benzene ring. Nucleophilic substitution is a reaction where a nucleophile replaces another group or atom in the organic molecule. Typical reaction of saturated organic compound bearing polar bond. So as you can see, the haloalkane with bromine atom attached to the carbon being replaced by the OH or hydroxide ion which is the nucleophile. So this substitution is called nucleophilic substitution. And the last one is the elimination reaction. Elimination reaction is when atoms or group of atoms are removed from adjacent carbon atoms of a molecule and forming a multiple bond. It could be either double or triple bond. Elimination reaction result in the formation of unsaturated molecules. So elimination reaction is basically the reverse process of addition reaction. If addition, it occurs from unsaturated to saturated, but for, elim for elimination reaction, the reaction goes from saturated to unsaturated. So that's all 
for introduction of organic, organic chemistry. Hope you enjoy the video. That's all. Thanks.